morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Septiguy and welcome back to Lil Bit B Life. The life and times of Fatty, Fatty Fitzpatrick. <laughs> it's not the first time I've made that mistake, is it? Paddy Fitzpatrick, senior computer programmer, semi-mass murderer, does it really count if he didn't do it himself and he just told somebody else to do it? I'd say he's more of a, an entrepreneur in the hitman industry. <laughs> so we're, what age are we now, actually? Paddy Fitzpatrick is 45 years old. He's about to come up onto his beautiful 50s. So, plenty more time to kill people. I'm going to kill absolutely everybody today. Everybody that I work with, all of these people, dead. I am running dangerously close, though, to bankruptcy. So, maybe I should buy some stuff? Assets? Can I do anything else? Is there anything else going on? My finances. I've... See, I have an income of $106,000, but I'm spending it all on hitmen. <laughs> uh, real estate broker, shop for properties. No. Alright. I work close to home, so I can walk there every day. It's fine. I'm gonna sell my car. I can take public transport. I can even Uber, alright? But how am I gonna afford all of these hitmen if I can't actually afford them? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Simple math, really. Put a post ad online. How? It's one of a kind. Nobody wanted to buy your stolen Maserati. How do they know it's stolen, though? I'm gonna do a heckin' crime right now! I wanna see if somebody will kill my stepdad for me. <laughs> this game is full of horrible sentences. No, look. Why does no one wanna kill my stepdad? <laughs> is a sentence I just said. Alright, who else? You know what? Let's just start going with co-workers. No one wants to kill Dylan Lynch! Maybe the hitmen are onto me. Maybe the hitmen just want to kill me now. Jacob Morgan. No one wants to kill anybody in my life anymore. This fucking sucks. You tried to start a conversation with your co-worker Evan about who makes the best bit life videos on YouTube. He told you he is too busy at the moment. It's me! Jack Septiguy! <laughs> oh man. Alright, well. Who is that? Evan. Alright, time to kill. I can't even pick him out of the list. This is the saddest fucking day of my life. I'm gonna rob a house. I'm gonna rob a house instead. Oh god, I forgot how to do this. Steal as many items as you can from the little old lady's home and escape without being caught. Swipe to change directions. Okay. Okay, I can do it. Oh god. Ow! Oh god, no! I didn't know who was starting already. I thought it was just showing me a picture. Oh, I fucked that up! I also swiped down and it swiped up! The little old lady verbally abused you and kicked you out of your house. You managed to flee before the cops arrived. Oh, thank God! I'm getting away with so much in this game. My happiness is down to 10%. Sad gamer noises. Alright, I need to- I need to spend time with everybody. You invested time in five relationships. Your stepfather refused to spend time with you. Of course he did. He never wants to hang out with me. He never wants to hang out with me. Where is he? Stepfather. <laughs> Come on! I want to murder my stepdad! I'm going to evolve and grow up in this game and I'm just going to murder him myself by the end of it. Alright, let's- let's age up. Pregnancy. Your wife Kira is pregnant with your baby. What will you do? Keep the baby! We tried this last time and she had a miscarriage. So I'm hoping that this time she'll actually be able to keep the baby and we'll have a nice, happy, fun, healthy life. Full of murder. All right, talk to my co-workers. Who's in here? Talk to Evan again. Try to talk to him about Shakira's hips. He told you he's too busy at the moment. All you have to do is tell me that they don't lie, bro. I am wildly upset that I can't kill Evan. That's- that's really gonna fuck me up. Should I kill my ex and her husband? <laughs> I don't know if I should, this is weird. Lily Moss. I'm trying to figure out reasons for killing them and then I realize it's a video game and it doesn't matter. Sure, why not? Oh! You found a hitman going by the name of TX, who's willing to pull off the hit on your supervisor, Lily. What will you do? Hire her! You hitman TX right off your money without pulling off the hit on your supervisor, Lily. Can I murder my hitman? <laughs> oh my god. The methods of murder are so nasty. Perform a drive-by, strangle them, club them, push them off a cliff. Elephant laxative! You can kill someone with an elephant laxative. Hold on, everybody. I'm reading. 
I need to keep reading to upgrade my mind. To increase my mental capacity and just make me feel at ease. I'm gonna read through all of Little Women in five minutes. I'm like Superman. Couldn't have picked a shorter book, could you, Sean? Nope. Had to be this one. I'm not even clicking the pages anymore. Abandon it. <laughs> I didn't even get happy! Let's talk to Sophie again. Sophie, what's going on? She told me to shut up. Sophie's always telling me to shut up. Where's Sophie? Is Sophie in this list? Oh, yes. Come on! It's not going well today. I'm gonna have to murder on my own if I can't find a hitman to do it. Alright, I'm going to a casino. Because I need to make back some money. I've lost a lot of money. We're going to go to the Coastal Shannon Casino. Uh, place your blackjack bets. Bank balance, okay. Uh, I'm about 10 grand. Oh god. That's actually a really fucking good hand! I'll stand! I lost! Motherfucker! It's rigged! I'm going again. Double or nothing. <gasps> I won! Oh, yes! Oh, God! Alright, I won the money back that I lost. I should, I should quit while I'm ahead. Unless... Hit me. <laughs> That's fine. Go again! Go again! I don't have a problem. You do! 12. 13. 20. Fuck! Oh, Kira's gonna take the kids! Oh, no. Kira, baby. Your wife Kira is arguing with you because you lost money at the casino. What will you do? I, I didn't just lose money. <laughs> I almost lost it all. <laughs> we had 37,000 in the bank and now I'm down to six grand. Apologize to her. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Should I hear, hire a hitman on myself? All right, let's, let's age up. Oh, Kira had a miscarriage again. Time to murder. <laughs> you are suffering from anxiety. Oh, no. Can I hire a hitman to kill it? Can I kill my anxiety with a hitman? Please, I'll pay anything. I lose as much money at the casino as you need. It's all right. I aged up. I have another 20 grand. I'm 47 years old. Let's just go up to age 50. Your wife Kira wants a divorce. She tells you she has learned that variety is the spice of life. At 47? What will you do? <laughs> Insult her one last time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to charge her. All right. This is- this is what happens. Alright, in the game of BitLife, if you want a divorce, you have to fight for it. So I'm gonna charge at her. If she gets past me, she's allowed to have the divorce. If I bite her skull and kill her... Well, the chips are where they lie. The judge has recognized your prenuptial agreement and has therefore determined that no settlement amount is required to finalize your divorce. No! Okay. <laughs> I'm going to bite her skull. <laughs> It's the same thing gonna happen again. Oh, no. You tried to bite your wife, Kira, but missed. Ow. How do you miss? How do you miss biting someone? Like, ah, oh, damn it. Okay. She stomped you. She jammed your torso. She busted your kneecap. You're suffering from depression. <laughs> oh, God. It's all going downhill. Patty, what's happening? Oh, I have a... What's this boost? Happiness. You receive an all-expense-paid trip to the Disney theme park of your choice from an anonymous source. You've been feeling the need for a vacation. What will you do? Here I come, Mickey. What are the hitmen? They funded a trip for me because they feel bad for stealing all my money. You enjoyed a free paid trip to Disneyland theme park. Old happiness, new happiness. I feel like a trip to Disney would have made me a lot happier. Even though my wife just left me after having a miscarriage and then she stomped on me and busted my kneecaps. I think that I could be a little more than 30% happy right now. Okay, well, time to hire a hitman and kill my ex-wife. <laughs> Where is she? Kira Hughes, there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Anton Chigger. Satisfaction guaranteed. Your hitman Anton pulled off the hit on your ex Kira using a ray gun. No! <laughs> what did I expect would happen? See, you know what? I missed my bite there to take my shot later. I'm no coward. I'll just hide behind a hitman. Let this be a lesson. Don't divorce Paddy Fitzpatrick, because he will hire a hitman and kill you. All right. William Fitzpatrick. Oh, jeez, I thought I died there for a second. 
Your father passed away at the age of 78. He died from Lyme disease? In 2020? Really? It's your responsibility to plan a funeral. Plan a funeral, yeah. Alright. Uh, it's time to decide what to do with your father's remains. His wish was to be buried. What will you do? Well, he's dead, so I guess his wishes don't matter. Uh, bury him, cremation, taxidermy, donate to science. Let's bury him. I inherited 808,000 euro? Do you- AND MY stepdad DIED! Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it's all coming up patty right now. His wife left. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore. She's dead. <laughs> His dad died. Very sad, actually. He was very upset about that. But he inherited 800 grand, almost a million euro. After losing it all in the slots, I bet Kira's looking down from hell right now. <laughs> after divorcing me. I'm lucky I came into the wealth after that. And now my stepdad died after me trying to reconcile with him and trying to hire a hitman and nothing would work. Turns out all I had to wait, all I had to do was wait and old age killed him. Actually no, it was the diabetes that got him. I will skip that funeral, actually. Happiness is not doing the best. <laughs> oh my god, I went out for a walk and a hooker found me. <laughs> Life's great. <laughs> While out on your walk, you encounter a hooker hassling you. What will you do? <laughs> Charger, bite her skull. <laughs> Ignore her. There we go. All right, happiness is taking a bit of a lumpen. Uh, I have eight hundred thirty-five thousand euro in the bank. I have no idea how I've lasted this long after hiring so many hitmen, after getting caught burgling someone's house, after trying to kill my stepdad many times, after biting someone, killing them. Paddy Fitzpatrick might be the luckiest bit life character of all time. I did it. I reached age 50 and I'm no longer suffering from depression. Amazing. An insurance telemarketer calls you and claims that he can get you a great deal on health insurance. What do you do? Listen to them and politely decline. Life is looking up for Paddy Fitzpatrick after his wife left him and got mysteriously murdered by somebody. Everything's turning out great. 50 years old, he's happier than he's ever been. Health is not doing great, but you know what? Health and age, they don't really, like, go together, do they? I mean, they do for a while and you can work really hard on it, but sooner or later your health wants to divorce your age. And shit goes to tits. Uh, time for crime! Let's hire a hitman to do something. I don't need to kill my stepdad anymore. Could kill more of my co-workers, but is that really worth it anymore? You know, a pickpocket a stranger. A biker. Why not? They, they cycle fast. They won't be able to catch up with me because they'll be gone by the time they realize they're... You know what? I'll just... I'll just do a little pickpocket. Get a hundred... A hundred euros. Uh-oh. The biker chased after you and is screaming at you to return his wallet. Attack him. It's time for my signature move. It's time to bite his skull. Wait, where's his skull? Uh-oh. His skull's not there. What am I supposed to do without my signature move? Bite his mouth! You bit the biker's mouth and you smacked him in his bingo wings. <laughs> the biker called the cops on you. No! <laughs> After all the hitmen that I hire, and all the places I rob, and all the people that I accidentally cured life from, uh, it's biting someone in the mouth that gets me? You've been charged with assault and are facing one year in prison with local law firm which local law firm will you hire? Uh, let's go with- I have a load of money. I can do that. Uh-oh. The judge has asked you to make a plea surrounding your charge for assault. If you plead guilty, you may receive a shorter sentence than if you were convicted in a trial. How will you plea? Not guilty. You've been found not guilty of assault. <laughs> I'm still chewing on the dude's lips in the court and they're like, Ah, he probably didn't do it. He's fine. He's grand. Let Paddy go. I'm gonna post on Twitter. 50, single, and ready to mingle. 13 likes, that's not great. Oh my god, look at all the people who are dead in my- <laughs> I have two be dead pets, and three dead family members. I only have three relationships to spend time with now. Oh god. Oh, but things are looking up though! I'm happy about this. Let's do some mind and bodies of meditation. Nice. Everything's great. 
Let's go to the gym, though. I need to keep my body healthy if I have to run away from all of these people who are going to try and come after me for uh, murdering them. And I'm no longer suffering from anxiety. You see, that's what the game is trying to tell you. All you have to do is reach 50 years old, hire a hitman to kill dozens of people, divorce your wife, kill her, and then inherit a bunch of money from your dad who just died. And then anxiety and depression, gone. <laughs> It was ridiculous. Oh, of course I'll spend time with my half-sister, Faye. She has no idea of the atrocities that I've committed. All right, Evan. I am going to have a conversation with you one more time. We had a conversation about the best place to have sex, and you were too busy for that? Evan. Come on, bro. All right, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to prank him. A little taste for what's to come. You gave your co-worker, Evan, a secret glitter bomb package that blew up in his face. Dude, I said I wanted to prank him, not ruin his entire life. I don't think that I can actually murder him now. I feel like I've murdered him already. Oh, Sophie? How about a conversation, Sophie? She told me to shut up again. Try it once more, Sophie. Try it once more! Tony Soprano! <laughs> Mr. Soprano himself is going to kill Sophie. Your hitman Tony Soprano pulled off the hit on your co-worker Sophie using a knife! Uh-oh. Your hitman Tony Soprano is now threatening to kill you with a knife too, unless you pay him another 19500 Tell him a deal is a deal. I'm standing my ground again. It worked for the last hitman, it's going to work for this guy. Ow! Tony Soprano attacked you with a knife, he stabbed your torso! Ah, shit! What did I think was going to happen when I got a hitman that I hired to kill somebody with a knife turned around and asked for more money and I denied him and he stabbed me with a knife? God damn it! I'm having to go to the emergency room. <laughs> They're like, what happened? What gave you this like whole shaped stab wound in your belly? It's like, I fell on my lunch. All right, time to thin out the workload. Uh, time to hire more hitmen to kill everybody. Okay, can't do that. That's fine. I'll just try the next person, Adam Stewart. No, apparently they haven't wronged me. No hitman wants to do it. They think I'm cold-hearted. Adam Stewart. Didn't I just try and kill him? All right, no hitman want to even come within a mile of me anymore. They probably found out that Tony Soprano stabbed me and they think I'm dead. You know what? I'm gonna retire. I have enough money in the bank. I'm 52 years old. I think it's time. I think if you're 52 years old and you almost have a million euro, I think you're fine. Years at the company, 15. Years until eligible, 5. Just, no, just resign then. Who cares? Alright, I think it's time to emigrate. Time to move to another country. Where do I want to go? I've killed enough people here, I worked there, but it would be foolish of me to stick around and just keep killing people in the same place over and over again. Eventually they're going to figure it out. I got lucky already. I want to move to... Hmm, where do I want to move to? China, Jamaica... Let's move to Australia! Australia approved your immigration request. I now live in Perth. Hell yeah, that worked out great. I wonder what kind of murder opportunities we have in Perth. Well, obviously I have to steal a car. I have to steal a car to get around, alright? It's, it's not a very walkable town. Uh, a Ford F450, sure, why not? Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Fine, I'll go to the doctor again, god. There we go, you successfully stole a Dodge Durango. Not too bad, grand old car. Good job, good job. I know, I could technically buy my own car, but why would I buy my own car and talk to people when I can steal and murder? You know, that's the Patty Fitzpatrick way. Uh, let's scrap this old car, so I don't need it. It's back in Ireland. I'm gonna sell my house back home. Uh, I'll drop it down a little. Grand! I have 1.1 million euro. I am rich beyond all belief in this game right now. I went from losing it all and my wife leaving me to suddenly coming into a great fortune. You know, I'm just an entrepreneur like that. I kinda need to find some friends. <laughs> Why is it all about finding people to love, but there's no thing to find friends? <gasps> I can change my will now! Leave all my money to charity. 
Hell yeah. My wife is dead. I left it all to her, but she died first, so. Mysteriously, weirdly, she hit by a blimp? How often does that happen? I'm going to go out on a date. Why not? 57-year-old uh, Gemma McKay. Uh, they're a lieutenant at Perth Police Department. Ask her on a date. Oh, wait. This could be the end. Oh, but the adrenaline. Oh, dating someone who's on the police force while I commit the crimes on the side. This Netflix show writes itself. Oh, yeah. You hear that? That's the sound of me and Gemma doing the horizontal shuffle. I think it's going pretty well. They have no idea that I am the mass murderer Paddy Fitzpatrick. Old dirty Paddy, as they called me back home. I was always in the headlines. How many people have been killed by old dirty Paddy now? He'll never know. Some of your friends are going to the horse races. Will you join them? I don't have any friends. <laughs> Who are these mysterious people that I'm going to the races with? Uh, place your bets. Oh, I have to bet? Oh, I just want to watch. You know what? I'm a great gambler. I've had great luck on it before. I'm going to go with, uh, top foot. I'll place a bet of 50k. Okay, do I- can I do anything else? Come on. Come on, top foot. Come on, top foot! Fucking no loan! Come on, top foot! Ya dirty bastard! Came third. What use are you anyway? Your girlfriend Gemma is arguing with you because you lost money at the races. Oh, I'm so sorry. Damn it, I'm back to 0% happiness again. Your girlfriend Gemma told you that you're a perfect 10. Apart from the fact that I just lost 50 grand at the races, I'm a perfect 10. Thank you, Gemma. I think that you are also good. What else should I do with Patty? Travel back in time? What? I can do that? Let's visit the fertility clinic first. Perth Fertility is not interested in your sperm. Reason, age. I'm too old to donate sperm. <laughs> oh, no. All right, uh... Should I try and take a time machine? Back to when life was easier for Paddy Fitzpatrick? Life's pretty great for him now, though. I don't know if I want to ruin that. Let's post a tweet about it. Hell yeah. Oh, man. I can be a video game tester, or I could be a go-go dancer. I want to be a go-go dancer. You called to express interest in the go-go dancer position at Amelia's Disco, but the receptionist answering the phone laughs in your face and then hung up on you. Well, that's just- that's just rude. Can I- can I hire a hitman to kill her? No, what is this? Let's kill a random punk rocker, I guess. Run off of my money! Can I hire a hitman to kill a hitman? You haven't been feeling very attractive lately and are looking for ways to become a little more sexy. What will you do? Shop for some hip clothes, get some silk underpants, get some style and sunglasses, or get a stylish new haircut. You know what? Surprise me. What are we getting? Roll the dice. Get some silk undies. There's a Tony Robbins motivational. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Tony Robbins can uplift anybody. Have you ever listened to a Tony Robbins speech? Even if it's all bullshit, or if, even if he didn't know what he was talking about, every time I listen to one, I'm like, Yeah! I am gonna go out and get that taco that I wanted. Alright, Paddy's 56 right now. I wanna get him to... Wait, let's spend some time with my girl. I wanna get him to age 60. Prepare it, why not? A person dressed as a superhero has told you he needs to bring the contents of a package to Ukraine. No way, loser. Go away. <laughs> Stinky. I don't want to go to Ukraine with a random package. Your friend lets you borrow his catadio... Dio... Dioptric? Catadioptric telescope. I've never seen that word before in my life. Uh, what will you check out? The hotties at the pool? I'm gonna check out your anus. No, I'm not. I'm gonna check out the meteor shower. That's pretty cool. Alright, one more age. And I have hit... 60. Your girlfriend Gemma is asking you to take her to homemade mini pizzas. Of course I will. We're gonna have a grand old time. Look at this. Age 60 and I'm living my absolute best life. Lux 96, smarts 99, health and happiness at 100%. At 60. Can you be any better than Paddy Fitzpatrick at this point? Nobody can live up to this man's legacy. Should we get married at 60? Okay, propose. This is, this is scary. I'm very nervous. Uh, weirdly, at age 60, I'm more nervous for Paddy than I was when he was in his 20s or 30s. 
She said yes! Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, this is marvelous. We are gonna have the best wedding. But you guys are gonna have to wait until the next episode to figure out how Paddy Fitzpatrick's life is going. Do you guys want to see him go down a virtuous path to reform his life, to get over all the hitman killings and just grow old with Gemma for the rest of their lives? Or do you want to go see him go down the world of debauchery, more gambling, more murders, more hitmen? It's up to you. I leave it in your hands. The next episode very well could be the last one. But if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a big old like on it or Paddy Fitzpatrick's gonna hire a hitman to come to your house and kill you with a ray gun. That read really probably bite you in the skull and you'll die. Okay, pleasant dreams, goodbye! <laughs>